And welcome to this exhibition clash between the Cowboys and the Chargers. The Chargers are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one, Chris. What is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. McBriar will be kicking this one off to get us started. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Phillip Rivers. Now in his eighth season out of NC State, a three-time Pro Bowl selection. The offense will take over at the 20. It's first and 10. He needs to get rid of it. He goes down. Sack. So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. Matthews on the delay. This is a high-powered offense that likes to get the ball down the field and can score points awfully fast. They have a premier target in Antonio Gates from Kent State who revolutionized the tight end position. No question, Antonio Gates has been a superstar in the game. Physically, he's one of the most dominant tight ends in the NFL. And lately, he's had a few physical issues that slowed him down a bit, but when he's right, he is almost impossible to stop. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And as we spotlight this defense, DeMarcus Ware out of Troy has been consistently excellent, establishing himself as one of the most exciting defenders in the league. Yeah, in a 3-4 defense, the outside linebacker is really free to be sort of creative. And DeMarcus Ware is so dynamic that offenses really just can't stop him. He's so much fun to watch. Number 37 fields it at the 42. And from Eastern Illinois University onto the field steps the ninth-year quarterback, Tony Romo, originally from San Diego, California. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They give it off here. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line by Kaysen. And we'll have a first down and 10.
Inside handoff. Offensively, you'd be hard-pressed to find a unit with as much wall-to-wall -wall talent. Jason Witten out of Tennessee is a huge weapon coming out of the tight end position. Yeah, it's always dangerous to claim that somebody is the best at a particular position, but it's really tough to think of somebody much better than Jason Witten. He really sort of transcends his position. The ability to catch the football is right there with any receiver in the NFL. But he also has the uncanny ability to block and come down with those tough catches over the middle. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. First down, 10 to go. Has a man to his right. Caught and dropped immediately. On defense, they've got a number of solid contributors and a couple rising stars, notably linebacker Sean Phillips out of Purdue. Now, Sean Phillips is a bit of a late bloomer, but it really did bloom when it happened for Sean Phillips. With some solid playing time, he's emerged as a force to be reckoned with. He's looking to run. He's tackled at about the nine-yard line by number 91. Eight yards away from the score. Short throw to the right. And that fake really was the difference. Not only did the quarterback sell it, the running back sold it, the offensive line did, and the receiver was open for a nice play. It's first down and goal. Toss. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. Felix Jones is one of my favorite players in the league. He brings a spark to this offense, and you can see it on plays like that. He just has it. Brown puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. Dallas up seven points. McBriar gets ready to kick it away. Creighton is back to receive the kick. And he'll return it from way back at the three. Hurd was there to bring him down. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll go to work at the 30. First down and 10. Still looking for an open man. Has a man out to his right. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Newman.
It's first and ten. They get it out there on the toss. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. On their own 41-yard line. Matthews gets the call. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. So it's third and long. Ball on their own, 38. Rivers hands it off. Yeah, and all it does is just add a few yards to the punt, which is not bad in this situation. Very seldom in this league are you going to pick up the first down in that third and very long situation. Make a conservative call. Add a few yards to the punt. It's fourth down. The Chargers ready to punt this one away. It bounces out of bounds at the 11. They'll get the ball here at the 11. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Takes a lick as he lets it go. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. He lost yardage on the play. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. It's third down and 11 to go. They break the huddle at their own 10. Passes it over the middle of the field. The Chargers held them in check on that drive, and that's a good way to send a strong message to an offense that it is going to be a very physical game. Fourth down. The Cowboys lining up to punt. will take off at the 31. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Inside give. He's wrestled down at about the 41 by number 95.
Second down and five to go. Ball on their own 41. Handoff up the middle. He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Spencer. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Passes short right side. The Cowboys held them in check on that drive, and that's a good way to send a strong message to an offense that it is going to be a very physical game. Fourth down. The Chargers line up to punt. Gets the ball at the 14-yard line. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 16. They'll start at the 16-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Pitch right. He's brought down right around the 26-yard line by Oliver. It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. The halfback with the carry. He's tackled around the 30-yard line by Castillo. First down, 10 to go. Fires a strike to the right. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line by Jammer. First down and 10. Dumps it out right. He's wrestled down around the 48-yard line by Jammer. Good-looking screen pass that time. It could have gone for a little extra if they'd gotten one more block. That was close. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's dropped down at about the 49-yard line by Gilchrist. Just about three yards there. Always a dangerous play when you get a wide receiver in the open field against man coverage. But that time, the defense was there and made a nice open field tackle. So that'll bring up third down. Just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. After one quarter of play, the score is seven, nothing. Welcome back to San Diego. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. 
Jones off the right side. He's having pretty good success running the ball so far, and they'll probably keep handing it to him. It's first and ten. So the ball on the 45. Throws it deep. Left side. Tony Romo really let that one go. He's, you know, he's definitely got the arm strength to make those kinds of throws, and everybody knows that. But accuracy is still the key to winning in this game. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. So the ball on the 45. Has a man to his right. He's brought down around the 40-yard line by Kaysen. Bryant picks up about five yards with the catch. That brings up another third down attempt. Looks for the safe short throw. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. The signal is a first down. The defense played that pretty well that time. It looked like they had the stop, but just enough to convert that first down. Looks right, throws. He's tackled right around the four yard line by number 28. First down and goal for the offense now after that big pass play. Looked like someone might have jumped. The offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. For this offense to be effective, they have to stay on schedule. And when you get a penalty like that, it allows the defense to begin to bring some pressure. Dangerous situation for the offense. Good coverage downfield. Comes down with it. Touchdown! This quarterback has a tremendous understanding of what this defense is trying to do to him. He's simply moving defenders around with his eyes and finding the open guy. He is really playing beautiful football right now. Might have an injury down on the field. Chris Brown is good on the point after.
McBriar is just about ready to kick this one away. Sproles stands back to field the kick. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Number 42 was there for the stop. They'll take over at the 22. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Matthews on the give. The Chargers are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. Facing a second and 13 situation here. Ball on their own 18. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. Hit and drop behind the line. There's a flag on the play. So it's second and long after the penalty. They'll go with the run once again. The stop was made by Jay Ratliff. He hasn't had a good first half at all. Just can't seem to get through this defense. That'll bring up a third and long. Ball on their own 12 and the ball on the 12. Looking for a man. He's going to his right. Throws. And he's tackled at about the 41 by Skandrick. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 41. Gives it up the gut. He's wrestled down right around the 48-yard line by Olshansky. First down, 10 to go. They spot it at the 48. Rivers hands it left. He's dropped down around the 44-yard line by Brooking. It's now second and five. Ball on the 44. Searching for an open man. He bats the ball away. Boy, the quarterback has to be a better decision maker than that. There's no way he was going to get that one in. It's a third and five situation. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws to his left. It appears we have an injured player on the field.
First down and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's looking towards the left side. Nene was the intended receiver. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on the 36. Rivers gives it up the middle. The Chargers are simply getting stuffed on nearly every rushing attempt. They need to get a spark somehow because this just does not bode well for them. Offense facing another third down situation. They've been very effective converting on this drive. Still looking for an open man. He's brought down right around the 36 yard line by Jenkins. You know, it's kind of hard for me to analyze that play because I have no idea what they were thinking about. You have to at least make an effort to pick up a first down. They call on the field goal unit. Hits the upright and it bounces the wrong way. The offense will take over at the 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Here's a halfback. He's tackled at about the 45-yard line by number 28. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line by number 91. They line up at the 43. Passes short right side. He's wrestled down at about the 39-yard line by Oliver. Three, call it four on the completion. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Dumps it out left. He's dropped down around the 34-yard line by Kaysen. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their 34. Short throw to the left. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line by Weddle. Just about five yards on that completion. As long as the timing's good on a slant route against zone coverage, everything's fine. If the timing's off a little bit, you can take a big shot. 
They line up at the 29. Jones takes a handoff. He's tackled around the 27-yard line by number 90. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. You know, it's just five yards, but a penalty like that can really throw your offense off rhythm. You definitely have to now change the play call at this point. Short pass to his left. And he's tackled right around the 30-yard line by Strickland. This one will be from 47 yards. And the kick is good. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Dallas looks ready to kick it away. Creighton is back to receive the kick. And takes off from his own goal line. And the tackle was made by number 42. The Chargers are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Passes out to his right. And the pass falls incomplete. They'll face second down and 10. The ball is on their own 26. Surveys the field. They're going for the home run. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. The ball is on their own 26. He's looking down the middle. Throw. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now they have the defense on their heels. Fires a laser down the middle. He's wrestled down around the 28-yard line by James. First down and 10 with the ball on the 28-yard line. Goes through his progression. 
He's dropped down at about the 19-yard line by Brooking. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Rivers hands it off. He's brought down at about the 11 by Jenkins. It's first and ten. Fires a strike to the right. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. They say no, he didn't have it. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. Someone jumped early down there. Even the slightest twitch by an offensive lineman will draw a flag. You know, defensive guys really have a bit of an advantage. As long as they don't cross the line of scrimmage, they can jump and flinch and try and get that offensive line to react. Has a man short to his left. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line by Jenkins. Well, that's an example of a very good play against pressure. They were coming after him, but the quick throw beat him. And he's tackled just outside the goal line by Jenkins. Matthews was his intended target. Looks left. Here's a short pass. This is close. Did he come up with it? It's ruled a catch. And the point after is good. Kading is just about ready to kick this one away. Williams is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Collects it at the 7. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Stuckey was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Inside handoff. 
He's wrestled down around the 32-yard line by number 91. And as we head to halftime, our score is the Cowboys, 17, the Chargers, 7. Welcome back to San Diego. Dallas will get the ball to begin the second half. And he'll return it from way back at the three. And we have a flag on the play. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Gilchrist was there for the stop. Winton is flagged for a hold on the play. They'll set up shop at the 10. And we'll have a first down in 10. Flips it out short. A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 29. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Romo hands it off straight ahead. He's dropped down around the 33-yard line by Weddle. And it's now second and six. Fumble on the play. San Diego has the football. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals and he gave it up. They'll start at the 34. First down and 10. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. Flips it out short to his left. Second down, 15 yards for the first. 
They spot it on the 39. Still looking for an open man. Gates gains about five yards on the play. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. They spot it on the 34-yard line. Has a man out to his right. He's brought down right around the 14-yard line by Newman. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. It's first and ten. Rivers flips it up. They tackle him for a loss. The Chargers have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like that and still keep trying to hand the football off? Second down and 14. The Rock on the 16-yard line. Rivers gives it up the middle. He's tackled around the 7-yard line by Sensiball. Six more yards for the score. Passes short right side. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. My sense of ball. He'll kick this one from the 10, a 20-yard attempt. He splits the uprights. So after that kick, the score is now the Chargers. 10, the Cowboys. 17. San Diego is ready to kick this one off. Williams stands back to field the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. Gets it to the 21. Seiler was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 21. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short throw to the left. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a two-yard gain. Boy, that's really a nice tackle on that play. Anytime you get man coverage on the outside against a receiver, you have to be able to make that one-on-one -on -one play, and he did it great. Second down, eight yards to go. Throws to his right. He's wrestled down right around the 42-yard line by number 28.
So the Rock sits at the 42. Searching for an open man. Decides to run. He finds a lane. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball. Right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. Romo hands it off. There's a flag on the play, and I have a feeling this one is coming back. That seemed like a pretty obvious hold. Yeah, sometimes you have holding, and sometimes you have tackling. That was a pretty good form tackle right there. Inside give. He's dropped down around the 48-yard line by Jammer. They line up at the 48. Barber on the give. He's brought down around the 44-yard line by Castillo. They line up at the 44. He's searching for a receiver. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The Cowboys lining up to punt. It bounces out of bounds at the seven. And now their offense will come onto the field in great position to get back into this game. They'll take over at the seven. And we'll have a first down and ten. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. He's tackled around the 19-yard line by Jenkins. First down, 10 to go. Rivers, hands off to the left. Gets maybe a couple. Second down and eight here. Ball on their own 21. Rivers hands it off. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Jay Ratliff was there for the stop. And third down now. They'll need seven to convert. So they have the ball on their own 21. Short throw to the right. And the pass is incomplete. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense.
Fourth down. The Chargers ready to punt this one away. Number 37 fields the ball at the 34. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Romo gives it up the middle. And looking at that run, we're not seeing the same explosiveness that we saw from him earlier. Good point, Gus. And maybe the fumble we saw earlier in the game has him a bit preoccupied. You can see him trying to cover up the ball and focusing in on maintaining possession rather than lowering his shoulders and just running over guys. And they get to him. Well, they will only lose a yard on the play, so I guess it could have been worse. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Offense needs a dozen on this third down. Ball is on their own 33. Going deep toward the left sideline. Is he going to score? The quarterback found his man there and picks up a big gain through the air. Chris, how did he get open on that play? Well, Gus, this guy is known for being a ball hog, but sometimes if a defensive back tries to make a play on the ball, he'll come up short and leave his receiver open for a big gain, and I think that's exactly what we saw there. It'll be interesting to see how he plays him for the rest of the game. The big gain in the air sets the offense up with first down, goal to goal. Romo gives it left. And he's tackled around the three-yard line by number 90. Now three yards for the score. Watch out! Touchdown! Felix Jones represents really everything a team could want in a running back. He always fights for the extra yardage. You never see him just running out of bounds. He's a tough guy. He's a great athlete. What a force. Brown adds the extra point. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The Cowboys, 24. The Chargers, 10. Dallas looks ready to kick it away. Sproles is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And the tackle was made by number 27. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. The offense will start at the 16. First down and 10. Here's the give. He's wrestled down around the 23-yard line by Spencer. Hey, hey. 
So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Someone jumped early down there. Number 65 is guilty of moving early. Brings up second and nine. Goes through his progression. The pass is broken up. What a play. So they line up at the 18. Looking for a big gain down the middle. He's dropped down at about the 29-yard line by Skandrick. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 29. Matthews on the inside handoff. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Facing a second at 11. Ball on their own 28. Matthews on the run. Runs for eight yards. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. He rolls out to the right. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 24-10. Welcome back to San Diego. The Chargers start this final quarter with the football. They'll be looking for a quick score. He will start from the 13. Hester was there to bring him down. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Austin gets the carry. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. The ball is on their own 20. Jones gets it on the inside. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. It's third down and 11 to go. Uh, 
Murray takes the give. He's brought down around the 21-yard line by number 90. So, it's fourth down. The Cowboys lining up to punt. Sproles fields it at the 29. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Number 37 was there for the stop. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Dumps it out right. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line by Newman. Floyd grabbed that one for a gain of two. Has a man to his right. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line by Newman. That reception is good for a gain of four. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Flips it out short to his left. Knocks over a defender, and he's still going. Looks like he's a bit shaken up on that one. And we'll have a first down in 10. Still looking for an open man. It's broken up by the defender. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. They'll face second down and 10. <laughs> Throws to his left. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. So another third down coming up for the offense. Going down the middle with it. The ball is tipped away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It's fourth down. The Chargers are lining up to punt it away. Oh. 
They have a decent lead late in the game. What do you expect to see here? Well, now's the time that you want to use as much clock as possible. And they absolutely the worst thing that can happen is turn the football over. So a lot of safe runs, maybe some screens, maybe some pitches, some sweeps, just anything to keep the chains moving at this point. Romo hands it off straight ahead. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. A gain of six. And just about four yards away here on second down. Gives it off. He's wrestled down at about the 27. By number 71. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Sweep left. Watch out, he's got space. And he's knocked out at the 41-yard line. Felix Jones really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 41. Handoff on the draw. He's dropped down right around the 50-yard line by Phillips. And two yards away here on second down. They give it off here. It looks like there's a penalty. Looks like this one might be coming back. Austin will be flagged on the play. Second down and seven. He's dragged down on the play. Might have an injury down on the field. Third down now. They'll need 11 to move the chains. Murray gets the carry left side. He's brought down around the 36-yard line by number 28. First down and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Barber gets the ball left side. He's tackled around the 33-yard line by Cooper.
Now they're facing second and seven. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line by Phillips. So the offense needs seven here on third down. Ball on the 33-yard line. Short pass to his left. He's wrestled down right around the 24-yard line by Oliver. We can't have that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Here's a pitch left side. He's dropped down around the 24-yard line by Siler. So they'll face a second and ten. He's brought down at about the 23-yard line by Martin. Well, a familiar situation for this offense as they'll attempt to convert yet another third down. Loads it up. Looking end zone. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one from 40 yards away. The kick is good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Dallas is just about ready to kick this one away. Sproles stands back to field the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Butler was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Number 65 is guilty of moving early. The penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line by number 42. Gain of eight on the pass. Looks left. Here's a short pass. 
And he's tackled around the 32-yard line by James. And we'll have a first down and 10. They spot it at their own 32. Has a man short to his left. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. They spot it at their own 32. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Number 68 is guilty of moving early. So the penalty brings up a second and 15. Gives it up the gut. He's wrestled down right around the 32-yard line by Olshansky. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. They spot it at their own 32. Looking for a big gain down the middle. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by Skandrick. And they got him. One of the dangers of working the play clock down too far is that if a defense can time out a blitz and disguise it long enough, the quarterback doesn't have time to make a late adjustment and you end up with a sack. So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. He's going to his right. Throws. That's now his third reception of the drive. It appears he's found a favorite target. You know, this receiver is just one of those guys that you want to keep busy. Some guys only want to try and catch the deep balls or the big plays. Other guys want to catch a lot of balls. This is one of those guys. He gets into a rhythm, and he can beat you. Throws middle of the field. Another catch on this drive. Antonio Gates, really an incredible story. Did not play football in college, was a basketball player, but has simply been so dynamic on the field. As a tight end, no tight end in NFL history has gotten to 50 touchdowns faster than he has. Took him just 92 games. The PAT is up and good. With just over a minute to go in regulation, the score is the Chargers, 17. The Cowboys, 27. San Diego gets ready to try an onside kick. Line drive kick, very short. He's brought down around the 43-yard line by Gilchrist. 
They're already down two scores, and now they have to defend a short field. If this team can come away with any points at all, this one's just about wrapped up. They'll set up shop at the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They'll work the right side. Daquan Bowers was there for the stop. We've got second and nine yards to go. They spot it at the 42. Run play, left side. He's tackled around the 41-yard line by Kaysen. And that brings up third down and eight yards to go. Hand off to the left. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line by Castillo. Fourth down. The Cowboys line up to punt. I don't know. I don't see any way in the world they're going to be able to pull this one out. I mean, maybe if they had a little more time than possibly, but this is going to take a couple of miraculous plays if they're going to pull this one out. They'll start at the 20. First down and 10. Looks right. Throws. He's wrestled down around the 42-yard line. By Sensiball. He spikes the ball. Second down and seven yards to go. Throws to his right. Completes it. And he's open for a huge game. He's dropped down around the 19-yard line by Newman. And he spiked it. They line up at the 19. Dumps it out left. The Chargers are set up with a first and goal. 
Philip Rivers has the hot hand right now, and of course that surprises nobody, especially this defense. He's one of the most accurate passers in the league, so to stop him, you have to get some heat on him. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. It's first and goal, and the offense would love to get into the end zone to make this a game again. Flips it out short to his left. He's brought down right around the two-yard line by Brooking. Pretty good gain that time on the screen. Anytime you get an opportunity to throw the screen pass, it has a lot of benefits, one of which is to simply slow down that pass rush a little. And they get to him. That's the end of this one. The game's top plays and stats are next. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game.